nowadays what we've noticed when you prolong something to do with spirituality and religion people become a little bit put off so if I were to talk to you for one hour perhaps you would listen the minute I stretch it to the next hour we'll start finding people stretching their hands you know we will find people yawning and they do it purposely you know in one lecture I told the brothers and the sisters that I will end the talk when I see the first person yawning so immediately I said please don't yawn intentionally <laughs> But mashallah, I didn't find any of that yawning. But I thought to myself, if someone wants to stop me, they just got to go, ah, you know, and it's over. I'll say, thank you, he's yawning, I'm gone. But productivity is that we don't bore people with things. Don't make them bored. Say something that is relevant. Say something that will benefit them. Keep them on their toes. You know, this is why the hadith, the Prophet says, مَا قَلَّ وَكَفَى خَيْرٌ مِمَّا كَثُرَ وَأَلْهَى that which is short to the point is better than that which is much more and it distracts you. So if you go home and someone asks you, how was the talk? You say, powerful. But how was it? Powerful. What did he say? Power packed. <laughs> so what's happening? Ah, power. Mashallah. Product Muslim. That's all you remember. Productive Muslim. The most productive thing was the word powerful. Allahu Akbar. If that's the case, we achieve nothing. So the best thing to do is speak short. Say something good. The reason I say this is we sometimes cause people to lose productivity because we bore them when they had a good intention to come out to do something and we just kept them sitting kept them that way you when we do not utilize the energies of the youth we bore them into lack of productivity we actually boot them out into oblivion the youth have a lot of energy use them for something mobilize them get them used in something constructive because if not they will start partying because for them that's the past time they have nothing better to do. Why? Nobody allowed them to do something. Let them get together. Let them organize perhaps some food for an orphanage. Perhaps a little bit of old clothes to send somewhere to a country. Or maybe a little bit of aid to send to someone who's struggling across the globe. Let them mobilize it and do it on their own in a beautiful way. Play a little role in their lives. These are the youngsters. The, perhaps the children and those who are growing up. So from that young age, we've already taught them productivity. 